doing a little faucet repair. This here was leaking. So I've cut it off. And now we're going to try for the repair. I have a hose here and a connector here. We'll see if we can make this work. All right. So this is a PEX pipe. And it's just what you're going to find in your mobile homes and RVs. And it's flexible, so it's got some expansion. Okay, so it doesn't burst your lines, I'm guessing, when it's freezing. So, these don't really work, it just kind of collapses it. But it did make a nice groove around here, and I was able to cut it straight with a knife. So that's the first thing, is you want to get it nice and level, I guess, for your cut. Okay. All right, so this is a half inch by half inch. I'll try my best to do this in the filming frame. <laughs> All right. A little instructions with it too, I think. All right. So there's inside this little bag, there's this fitting. And that needs to go inside the PEX pipe to keep it from collapsing. So when you put it through here, it'll be a little more rigid and won't, won't give you any problems then, hopefully. All right. in this try to get through here okay I'll also give you this little plastic piece here I don't know what that's for I'll check it out Okay, so all the instructions were saying was to cut the tubing to the desired length, make sure it's cut squarely, remove all burrs, push the fitting into the end of the tube, and then the fitting will grip before it seals. Ensure that the tubing is pushed all the way into the fitting until the end is fully seated into the internal tube stop. Then, this must be the collet, so it says then insert the collet clip. So I got, that's what keeps it from coming out. And then you can reuse this. But to remove it, you gotta take this collet out of there. Okay. Not sure how this goes. Maybe it goes on here or something. Okay. Anyway, let's see, where am I at? Ooh. Okay, so we got our internal piece in. This is a horrible camera angle, I know, but... Okay. All right, so... Okay, so I guess we're just gonna... push this thing in here. That was it. I don't know if you can make this out, what's going on here. Okay, I'll put this collet clip on here.
Okay, so here's half inch on each side. So all I'm using is just a faucet connector. And we're gonna put this end onto that. There's no real way I'm gonna be able to get this tight and hold the camera, so bear with me. So, something like that. And then we'll fill it up with water, check for leaks. But not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that today. Don't have a garden hose accessible to fill the RV up with water right now, so. We'll see. That's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna tighten them up. Let's see what happens. Doesn't seem that difficult though. It's pretty basic, I think anybody can do this. Plus, it's a little bit of home repair, right? A little, little, little bit of vehicle maintenance. RV maintenance at its finest. Well, anyway, I was wondering what to do about it because this piece was leaking right under in here somehow. And I thought, I mean, that's pretty bad in there, but I thought if that was really leaking, wouldn't it just come out through the top too? I don't know. But it was just coming all out in here, and I didn't know if this clamp was, or if the leak was coming out from this clamp, or underneath there. I, I don't know. But anyway, you can't just replace this piece. Not that I know of. Maybe you can. Maybe I can just pull real hard and pop this fitting off right here. But either way, I thought, maybe make it so I can you know, just run to like your Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, and, and get some of these things. Um, be a lot easier than trying to find an RV place to uh, for all your parts because a lot of times I don't know if they have all all the pieces and whatnot. I didn't see any off the shelf. I just see a lot of accessories and it's not exactly what I needed. So here we are. Anyway, thanks for watching.